this is this is right up my alley. Um, so I know you wanted to um sort of the mics are on for sure. All right. <clears throat> um, please just introduce yourself and. My name is XXX Tentacion. I'm a 19 year old Broward County artist or slash rapper. Um, I explore multiple genres, so that is what uh, has led to my prosperity. And me being kind to others as well has led to my prosperity. Uh, I rep Broward County fully, uh, Lauder Hill, Florida, D side. That's where I'm from. That's, That's what's up. Right. Can you explain uh, how you got the name XXX Tentacion? Um, basically, uh, I came up with it when I was in boot camp. Um, I mean, the name itself means unknown temptation. I, I mean, I they, I had already said that in, in the last interview, but it mean mm. it means unknown temptation because XXX was the only unknown numeral that I knew right. and uh, that I did not know initially. So it just means unknown temptation. All right, cool. So when you say boot camp, was it what, army boot camp, prison boot camp? Um, it was like a it was like a behavioral correctional. Cause I got it, I got it court ordered because instead of like prison time, I did um program time. Got you. Wow. That's amazing. So, um, you did do some time. Yes, I did. Okay. Well, what was the uh, situation with the time that you've served? Um, as far as my current case. Yes. Um, I, I mean, know you can't get into too many details, yeah, no, but whatever you fine. can. I was um I was released on probation for a, uh, a home invasion with a firearm and assault with a deadly weapon. Um, I'm currently on probation for about six years, um, and then I still have an open case in Miami Dade. For some uh, for some actual crazy crazy accusations, but uh, I'm gonna go to trial for it. Uh, I know I'm gonna win it because just due to the amount of evidence we have. But I, obviously, I can't go into it too much. Right. But that, that situation is gonna be over with pretty soon, and then I feel like it's just gonna clean up my my whole face as of right now because a lot of people are judging me due to that. You know what I'm saying? They think I actually did the shit, so they're they're kind of. You know, on me about it. Well, it's crazy because I had a, a conversation actually uh, earlier today with a, with a person and we were kind of like discussing that. A lot of times what happens is that when you do have previous records and you yeah. do have a, what you'll call a rap sheet, yeah. sometimes people will kind of prejudge you based on a, another situation. Yeah. So it's almost like they'll pretty much say, oh, you probably did it. Whatever they say on... in the media, people deem true almost immediately. Like, they, like nobody will know that pain until they go to jail and you're basically deemed guilty before... It's, it's really guilty before proven innocent. It's not innocent before proven guilty. Like, if you go to... Like, if you got... Like, when I had PBL charges, I, I didn't get a bond. I, well, I got a bond initially. Well, when I first came in, I didn't have a bond. They denied mm. my bond initially. And I had to go to... um, and I had to go to a bond here and then get my bond. Like, it didn't even come out the gate. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, a lot of that shit is bullshit. And I just... Like, even the... just. Speaking on the judicial system, like I, I, I'm excited that we're gonna dwell into that shit fully. Today. Yeah, definitely. And um, so you're not hiding the fact that you've had some troubles in the past. No, right, no, not at all. All right, so let's start. Let's take things back from the beginning because this is an issue. I have a, I have a movement that I have called PK for PM. It's Papa Key for People Matter, mm -hmm. and really with that message, I'm trying to spread. Like, I feel a lot of the youth feel like they just give up <clears> on life. I don't have a job. My mother's on drugs. There's no opportunities out here. No good backing, yeah. Fuck it. I you know agree. what I mean? So they don't value themselves. You know, they don't value their lives. So I'm just trying to create a movement where it's like, yo, you matter. All due, like, to, all due to the their, their upbringing. I like. in, my, in my opinion, from, from the generations before, if you ask me, I'm, I don't want to completely, and no, no disrespect to you, because for the people, this is a... I, I want to go for a general or rather a general perspective to that specific uh, amount of people that I'm speaking on, not okay. anyone in particular. But from the generations before, obviously it led up till now. So you look at these kids, like they like the Catch Me Outside girl. Like what, what was her upbringing, you know what I'm saying, that right. made her act this way? And like from the generations before, model citizens are no longer model citizens, you know what I'm saying? These kids are learning from the generations before. So just like you're saying, you're all about people. The only way to change the only way to change the situation is the people. When we raise our children, obviously, we have to have some sort of some sort of at least good structure around them. You know what I'm saying? Good structure to mold them. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not saying hide your kid from the media, I, but there's a certain there's a specific amount of teaching that a child needs to to really understand something. You know what I'm saying? And you can't force something obviously into a child's mind, but there's a certain amount of love that you have to give people for that matter. Not even just children, people for that matter, to move them in a certain direction. 
know what I'm saying? And there has to be a certain amount of mental stimulation to really get that 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 person or that that child to grasp and want to grasp it. Because so, so it's pretty much you're saying if you let media raise your kid, exactly, these are the results these you're gonna results. get. Yes, you're gonna get the frustration, you're gonna get the lashing out, you're gonna get the criminalization exactly. and all these different things. Exactly. Wow. So I mean, with that being said, you you're talking from experience. Uh, I will. My situation. Um, is a, I don't want to say it's a different one. Um, around when I first started growing up, there wasn't as much media. Like I obviously I was too young for Twitter to be as popping. Facebook came out like one out when I you know when I got a little bit older. So there wasn't as much social media. But when I was when I was growing up, my mom had it. My mom had it hard. My mom had it really 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 hard. So it she was put in a situation where she really couldn't you know mold me like she wanted to. She tried to give me love by financially taking care of me because she's seen that as the most important thing. As long as I ate and as long as I had clothes and as long as I had a place to stay, that was the most important thing to her. She was never able to, and I want to quote unquote able to, you know what I'm saying? Because if she could, she would have. She was able, she was never able to emotionally nurture me. So that left some sort of, it made, it made, it left some sort of, uh, uh, I, I guess a burden. I, yeah, I, I carried yeah. this, I carried a, a really big burden and and self hate for myself because I felt like I wasn't enough, you know, for a certain amount of time. So I don't, I don't want to like for my for my situation. I don't want to blame her. You know what I'm saying? It, it just I was thrown into the world and I did experience things on my own and like a lot of things on my own. And that's what. So yes, that's yeah. I guess you could say it's kind of relevant. Yes, because mm-hmm. I went through these things myself. So yeah. I definitely was uh, raised by the media, but. I knew not to act out on it, you know what I'm saying? I would only act out on certain things to market myself and to, to actually be a genius to, to like, all right, like, let's use Worldstar for an example. Yeah. How many times, like before, when, when Worldstar was at an all-time high, when mm-hmm. I'm talking about like 5 million views, 10 million views a day, dropping videos and it's going ridiculous. When, right. When the media, when the media, like when Worldstar was a big media platform, nigga, they would drop videos, like simple videos or like, like all right, when, when they had, um, that video of Amber Cole, you know, you know, what I'm saying the, the young girl that was giving head in elementary school, right? Shit like that went viral. Right. Shit like that, they was found funny. You know, what I'm saying and shit like that got tens of millions of views. Or having sex on on um on camera and exposing it, or or showing like just doing fuckery, doing mm. foolishness. You mm. get what I'm saying? Started to prosper. So I used that as a platform to market myself. You get what I'm saying? Like remember one time I got into a fight at. Taco Bell jumped over the counter, beating the guy's clear. You feel me? Right. Just, he, he, robbed, he robbed one of my homeboys. Well, not robbed him, but stole from him. Right. I just started using the media as itself and looking at the media and really studying what can I market? Sex sales, drug mm-hmm. sale, mm-hmm. medicine, medicine. You get what I'm saying? Like, right, the, right, the, the, right. The corporate, like obviously, music sales. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel that? Do you feel a way that you have to? Res- you had to have resorted to things that are deemed negative overall to be able to get that sort of attention? If you want to... Like, you, you couldn't be the nicest guy in the world and you're not going to no. get that level of attention, if obviously. He, if, you, if you want me really to be honest, right now, evil is winning. If you want me to be a thousand percent honest, I mean, I'm, I'm, I am not... I was never pro-Hillary Clinton. I, I won't say I was pro-Hillary Clinton because they both had things I did not like, her and Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. Um... I want to say evil is winning because just due to the fact like, all right, Donald Trump is doing like it's it's unfortunate because there are certain things that he's doing that is going to help us financially that needs to be done. He's destroying in order to create. Now, as far as the things he says to people or how he expresses himself or his own personal, his own personal life, you know, what I'm saying, no, I do not agree with. But as far as the bigger picture, as as because they're like within the karmic cycle between black and white, you know, what I'm saying. There's two important things, life and death. There is no ideal, there's no ideal right and wrong. There is only good and evil or birth and destruction. So the real thing is you cannot create until you destroy. You know what I'm saying? And without and there cannot be one without the other between that. There has to be that thin line or that equality. So within what we're actually going through, we're going through the destruction process in the entire in this entire universe, you know what I'm saying? Like I, we're, we look like we're about to go into World War Three, if you ask me. We look because the way it's going is we're picking, we're pointing fingers and picking fights with damn near everybody. Right. right? right. You know about the I, was it who, who was it they uh, they launched the missile on? Um, it was uh, Afghanistan. 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 The Afghanistan? mother of all bombs. It was Afghanistan. Yeah, it was. Okay. So yeah. I I know he had just he had just uh, fired a, had fired a missile. 
I think I th- actually I think it was Syria. They was dropped it? the bomb. Well, they did. They they fired missiles in Syria, but they it's dropped Syria. the huge bomb huge in bomb Afghanistan again. Again, again. Yeah. see, so it looks like right now we really we really are reaching that process where all it, we're breeding new destruction. You know what I'm saying? And we can't mold that new creation of equality unless our people are willing to take control as well. If you let, like, the, the president don't, don't even run shit, just for mm, everybody that right. don't know that. Congress right. runs everything. Congress runs everything. Nobody knows that. Like, a lot of people do not know that, except popular politicians and, and people that actually dwell into that and want to and, and, uh, educate themselves with that matter. You know yes. what I'm saying? But he don't run shit right now. Congress has to pass over on everything. So I mean, as far as I ask you a question again, sorry, I got I got so deep into nah, it. Nah, nah, it's all good. What I what I what I really wanted to kind of like bring alignment to actually is that you talked about evil being winning right yes. now and yes. the different things you have to do to get attention and to market yourself and stuff like that. So now, what happens when you do um, all these evil type things to get the attention, and then boom, you got the attention. People are paying attention to you. You drop an amazing music, and then. Kodak Black, XXX Tentacion. Now you have to pay for the stuff that you did in the past, in the past. or things that you may have been involved with in the past oh, to get that into yeah. that attention. And now it's burdening you as you're trying to now move forward with your career and your life. In all honesty, life is a gamble. What are you? With? Life don't come without sacrifice. Everything, everything you got right here, right now, I know came with sacrifice. None of us can deny it. Everything. Now I'm not talking about no no evil chanting, super sacrificial right, motherfucking right. Illuminati shit. You right, know what I'm right. saying? I'm not talking about nothing. But what are you willing to sacrifice? What are you willing to lose in order to gain what you need to prosper? What are you willing to lose to evolve? Is it real? Quick? I lost nine months of my life mm-hmm. to evolve, but that's what I needed. I needed to go to jail so I could evolve. You know what I'm saying? What are you willing to lose? This is what me, Kodak, and every single person in Florida wanted. As, as far as those who are prospering to get where they needed. We lo- you lose friends. You lose countless money. You, you, sometimes, some people lose their family members. You know what I'm saying? Some people lose their respect. You lose, you, you damn near lose, lose everything. You know what I'm saying? You lose everything to acquire what you want. So in the end of the day, you have to decide for yourself. Nobody else can decide for you what, you, what is worth it. You know what I'm saying? Am, am I willing? All right. I'm about to go hit this lick. Am I willing to face five years to to possibly just touch like five bands? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Am I willing to take that risk? All right, I want to be a, a multi platinum artist. Am I willing to go sign with RCA Records and be a slave for at least five to six years? You know what I'm saying? And 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 market for them rather than myself. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What am I willing to put myself through? How much pain? Can I can I can endure? I, can I endure? Mm. Thank you. Middle How part. much pain can I endure? How much am I willing to endure? Is a real question. You, is the, the 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 situation at hand is this: it's not about what you're dealt with; it's about how you deal with it. Nobody else can make a decision for yourself, or nobody else can change your destiny but you. The, the pen is in your hands. You narrate your story. You know what I'm saying? 